Okay, five of you really focus. Right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to call the June 18, 2018 City Council meeting to order. If everyone could please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Oh, oh, I guess I shouldn't have set that up. You okay, buddy? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Ray Solomon. Here. Glenn Conklin. Present. Scott Dyke. Here. John Brashe. Here. Barbara Scalera. Here. Claudia Gazal. Here. Tina Oberlin. Present. Marco Coldi Pietro. Here. Nate Albert. Here. Tom Inman. Here. Okay, you have before you the minutes from the regular meeting held on June 4th, 2018. Motion will be in order. So, so moved. Second. Motion by Alderman Scalera, seconded by Alderman Cola Di Pietro. Regards to the minutes from June 4th, questions or comments? Roll call, please. Scott Dye? Yes. John Brashe? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Tom Inman? Yes. Marco Cole Pietro? Yes. Barbara Scalera? Yes. Motion carries. You also have before you the minutes from the work <coughs> session held on June 11, 2018. Motion would be in order. So moved. Second. Motion by Alderman Inman, seconded by Alderwoman Gazal. Questions or comments in regards to the June 11th minutes? Roll call, please. Nate Albert? Yes. Marco Colby Petro? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Barbara Scalera? Yes. John Brashe? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Tom Inman? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, we do not have a business promotion this evening, so we will continue with the agenda as set. And we will go with our city administrator, Heather McGuire. Good evening, Heather. Good evening, Mayor and Council. The first item I have on the agenda for consideration is an ordinance permitting special events in the city of Crest Hill. Just to reiterate, we did discuss this at the June 11th work session. I did send out an email over the weekend um, to inform Council what some of the surrounding municipalities' fees were. And um, after reviewing those fees, I believe that something between $25 and $50 is probably more in line with other municipalities, but that is certainly Council's decision on which direction you want to go if you want to reduce that. However, I would recommend keeping that at, at minimum at a per event fee to make sure that we are maintaining that control per special event to make sure that they're complying with all of the terms and we don't have vendors out there um, parking wherever they want throughout the city. Uh, secondarily, Alderwoman Gazal did reach out to me to ask about consideration of putting a restriction on distance from existing businesses and I did advise her that currently that is being challenged by the it's a city of Chicago food truck about that specific issue so at this point I would not recommend putting anything like that type of restriction in the ordinance we can certainly see how that plays out and consider incorporating that at a later time I'd be happy to answer any other questions this evening I would just like to say um, I, I would definitely want some some uh, conversation before anybody makes a motion with 25 versus 50. I emailed you late today. I was out all weekend and I apologize. Um, if we keep it at 100, I, I would say um, that would be a, more like an annual fee like the surrounding um, uh, cities have. If we go to a per event fee, I, I'd probably recommend 50 as well. I agree with that. I'm more comfortable with per event. Like Heather said, I, I, I emailed you as well, like saying it's we have more restriction and control over the event. If we leave it open $100 a year, how are you going to control that? Well, you can still say no to the license if you wanted to. Uh, we could do something like an, an annual fee and then still make them come in for a permit. If we went that direction, then um, we would need to revise the ordinance uh, in a little bit more substantial of a way. Um, and, and just to fill the public in, the reason this is uh, being discussed here tonight is there are a few organizations that have events scheduled, so the City Council was attempting to get this ordinance in place to allow those events to continue on. So uh, there's a reason for that discussion here this evening. So we're leaving the $5 special event fee. 
ahead. Yes, no, nobody emailed okay. me on that. I think no, that's I a think pretty minimal yeah. fee as well. I, I would go along with the 50 <clears throat> per event. I'm leaning towards 50. That's why I wanted some discussion before motion was made. <clears throat> Heather, like we spoke about, this is time is a little, a little bit of the essence here, and we kind of need to move on this. Um, I would, I mean, I'd recommend that we go with the 25, and then then adjust it as need be, maybe later in the season to see how it see how it goes. I don't think we're you know, shooting ourselves in the foot at 25, we may be at 50. <clears throat> so, I mean, I'd like to make a motion that we move forward with how it's written, except for the, the one revision <clears throat> in that section to go from the $100 to $25 as a trial basis for this, this season. I'm not going to, I'm, I just, I'm going to tell you this right now, I'm not going to support 25. As we discussed in the meeting and the work session, it's how you control cash. I mean, at least we have to get something out of the sales of the food. Okay, I have, a, 50. I have a motion on the table for $25 and the approval of the ordinance as written. Is there a second? For the second time, there is a motion for $25 for a permit fee in addition to the ordinance that is presented from last week's work session and this evening. Is there a second? The third time. Is there a second? Okay. Motion fails for lack of a second. I will entertain another motion. I'll make a motion that the fee be $50 for the I'll license. Second. I'll second. I'll second it. Okay. okay. Motion by Alderman Dyke, seconded by Alderman Vershae for $50 on the permit fee per mobile food vendor or per mobile vendor i will clarify that it'll be sections 5.18.020 and 030 that fee will be amended to state fifty dollars instead of a hundred dollars in both sections okay questions or comments in regards to that motion roll call barbara scalera yes claudia gazal yes tina oberlin yes marco cooley pietro yes nate albert Yes. Tom Inman? Yes. John Brache? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. Motion carries. Ordinance number is going to be 1781. Thank you. And I will work to reach out to those organizations that have events scheduled to make sure that they understand the um, requirements of the new ordinance. Can we, since, can we put this on a work, work session agenda again relatively soon before we you know, lose lose sight of it again. As in, like this coming Monday, or you you mean uh, after it plays out next, for a little? Maybe bit. maybe next month after after one of their first events, which Absolutely. I think is this Friday. Um, correct, the twenty second. Thank you. And then the uh, next item I have for consideration this evening is an ordinance authorizing the acceptance of a deed in lieu of foreclosure for real property, specifically 1919 Chorus Street. As we discussed at both the May 14th and June 11th work sessions, this property, property is currently sitting vacant and is accumulating a number of weed liens from the city for not being properly maintained. We are working on getting in contact with the owner, but due to the timeline uh, with the property taxes being sold, we are attempting to get in contact with him before the end of this month to actually make that <coughs> transfer if he is willing to do so. So that we do not have the paperwork yet in place because we have not been in contact with him. However, this ordinance would authorize me to continue working on acquiring that property and then would direct the mayor to sign any of those documents if he is willing to deed that property over to us for zero cost. So moved. Second. Motion by Alderman Dyke, seconded by Alderman Vershae for an ordinance authorizing the acceptance of a deed in lieu of foreclosure for real property, the property 1919 Core Street. Questions or comments in regards to the motion? Roll call, please. Tom Inman? Yes. Nate Elbert? Yes. Marco Cole DiPietro? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Barbara Scalera? Yes. John Vershae? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. Motion carries ordinance number 1782. Thank you. That was the final item I had for approval this evening. The informational report is on file. Question. Question. 
For the public's knowledge, we will be having a work session on June 25th, and this will be a heavy public works work session to discuss well number 14. That would be a new well, East Treatment Plant re-rating, the diversion structure engineering, and the SCADA server upgrade. I'd be happy to answer any other questions this evening. Questions of City Administrator? Okay, thanks, Heather. Moving on, Public Works Department, our Director of Public Works, Mr. Jim Egan. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, first item on the agenda this evening is uh, uh, engineering services agreement with uh, Christopher B. Burke Engineering uh, for the Phase Three engineering on the Marlboro Lane water main project. Uh, that project is currently uh, out for bid right now, and uh, the engineering services would uh, cover the bidding assistance. Uh, on-site uh, supervision during construction and then uh, close out documentation for the project. The uh, total cost is uh, $67,000. So moved. Second. Motion by Alderman Dyke, seconded by Alderman Verche. Questions or comments in regards to the motion? Roll call, please. Barbara Scalera? Yes. Claudia Gazelle? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Marco Cold Petro? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Tom Inman? Yes. John Brichet? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. Motion carries. Second item on the agenda this evening uh, was uh, discussed at the previous work session. Uh, it's a proposal to remove the existing City Hall display sign and replace that with uh, an entry uh, gateway sign. Uh, cost for this would be $850 to uh, great signs and the installation of the new sign would be done by city staff. And we checked with them that that did not include them taking the scrap. We were going to They would leave the the metal for us to scrap All it. Right. We don't anticipate there being much value with that, but Well, we'll I I just wanted to make sure we knew what they wanted. But uh, they are going to leave that for us. Okay, and this was discussed last Monday night at the work session in length also, so I would ask for a motion. So for moved as presented. Second. Motion by Alderman, Alderwoman Overland, seconded by Alderman Sclair to remove the existing city sign at the corner of Plainfield Road, Theodore Street for a cost of $850 to great signs. Questions or comments in regards to the motion? I just want to make a quick comment that the the new sign, it is an existing sign that we have in the bag. We're not spending money on, an, on a that new sign. Correct. I just want to make sure that for the record. So the that sign is back there. Yes. And it will fit perfectly there. I understand. I just want to make sure that we're not spending more money correct. than we're supposed to. Okay. Roll call, please. Tom Inman? Yes. Nate Albert? No. Marco Colby DiPietro? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Barbara Scalera? Yes. John Brichet? Yes. Scott Dyke? No. Motion carries. Okay. Anything else, Jim? That's all I have this evening. Any questions of public works? I do. I thought uh, Greg was going to be here. I emailed him last week about the mosquito thing, and he didn't reply until today. He only gave me one date. Can, in the future, we have this ahead of time, so when President they ask us, we have the information on hand. Like, uh, can we have a schedule of the mosquito spray ahead of time? Yes. Like, he only gave me, like, for this week. I know he had a family emergency last week. Um, I no, I understand, that, but, but for, like, the future or yes. the next week, instead yeah, of giving me just one week, can he problem. give me the whole schedule for the summer? So this way, if somebody asks me a question, I'm prepared to answer. Don't have to wait a week to respond to a resident. Okay. I would appreciate that. Thank you. We'll discuss that with staff. Anybody else? How it works? Okay, thanks, Jim. Uh, moving on, Community Development Department. Scott McMaster is on vacation today. Uh, you have the information in your packet, but we'll work through here the two uh, agenda items. The first one is work zone safety acceptance of the site improvements. City staff and engineering um, recommends for the acceptance of the site improvements. Motion would be in order. So moved. Second. Motion by Alderman Cola de Pietro, seconded by Alderwoman Oberlin. Questions or comments for the acceptance of the site improvements for work safety zone located at 17051 Gaylord Road. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Tom Inman? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. 
John Frisch. Yes. Barbara Scalera. Yes. Claudia Gazal. Yes. Tina Oberlin. Yes. Margaret Coldy Pietro. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, and you also have an agenda item for work zone safety approval for the release of the original site plan bond dated April 3rd, 2016 per ordinance number 1512. And again, city staff and engineering acknowledges that work zone safety located at 17051 Gaylord Road has met all the uh, satisfactory um, requirements. Therefore, they are asking for the approval for the release of the original site plan bond dated April 13th, 2016. Motion would be in order. So moved. Second. Motion by Alderman Cola Di Pietro, seconded by Alderman Edmond. Questions or comments in regards to the motion? Roll call, please. Nate Albert? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. John Brashay? Yes. Barbara Scalera? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Marco Cola Di Pietro? Yes. Tim, Tom Edmond? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, you also have in your packet um, the month of May permit fees and also the month of May code enforcement in which 196 vegetation notices were sent to residents and or businesses in the city of Crest Hill in the month of May. 38 code enforcement hang tags and letters were sent and eight administrative tickets uh, were written. Um, so if you have any questions, when Scott returns from vacation, you can certainly ask him. Okay, moving on, police department. We have with us tonight, Deputy Chief Rossetti is here to handle the police department report. Tony? Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, nothing on the agenda. Uh, I'll answer any questions if you have any. Any questions of the police department? Okay, <clears throat> thanks, Tony. Mayor's report. I have no agenda items this evening. I hope that everybody did receive the city newsletter for spring of 2018 in your water bill. Um, so please read that and if you have any questions feel free to call City Hall and we'll certainly do our best to answer any of the questions and also I am advising our residents that this Wednesday June 20th Clark mosquito spray will be out throughout the city of Crest Hill spraying uh, one of their five treatments uh, with all the rain that we've had the hot weather there's probably a lot of mosquitoes that have been breeding so they will be out Wednesday night, June 20th, to spray the entire city. So uh, please, uh, this would bother you, close your windows, and um, this will help to eliminate a lot of the mosquitoes that are breeding now. That is it for me. If there's any questions of the mayor, I'll certainly try to answer them. Yeah, Mayor, is there, has there been any progress with the, uh, the old Vito's property? Yeah, uh, the property has been sold. The uh, liquor license um, was approved at this table. Uh, they are in the process of doing some remodeling in there and cleaning up the property. Uh, they told me that their intentions were to try and be open the 1st of July. Okay, it just, it's just starting to look a little tired and run down on the outside, so just hoping that they're right. well, I think that. when that little uh, microburst went through there in May, it took down several of the trees and the fence back there, so he's got some not only inside work to do, but outside work to do also. Okay, thank well, you. Well, next door looks even worse. Yes, I don't and know. And I brought that up. On I know more Kirk's, than one Kirk's been dealing with that. I believe that could might even be rental property next to it. I think. I'm not sure. I'm um, not sure, but it looks pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, no, they got hit. That one and the. Uh, the well, it was all hidden me. by that tree. Right. You right. couldn't even see it before. Now it's it's open for people on Broadway coming into our city. And that's what they're looking at. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Moving on. City Clerk's report. Our City Clerk, Vicki Hackney. Good evening, Mayor Council. I have one item on the agenda this evening. There is a request from David Blonte um, on Essex Court requesting closure of Essex Court for a black party of August 11th from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. So moved. Second. Motion by Alderwoman Sclair, seconded by Alderwoman Gazal for a block party at uh, on Essex Court, August 11th. Questions or comments? Roll call. Scott Dyke? Yes. John Brashe? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Marco Coldy Pietro? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Tom Inman? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Barbara Sclair? Yes. Motion carries. They will be notified and will also notify the um, police and public works are given notification on that. One announcement, last announcement before Shred Day, which is June 30th. 
I know I sound like a broken record, but just a reminder, the clerk's office is hosting a free shred day for residents June 30th, which is Saturday at the City Hall parking lot from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, as indicated, please limit your boxes, two to three boxes we ask. We will have um, volunteers there to help you, assist you. I know I've heard from a couple council members already who are gonna be there. Um, thank you once again to um, Reza's Auto Repair on Jewelry Court and Crest Hill who's sponsoring it this time. So we do appreciate that. And we look forward to seeing everyone and we hope for wonderful weather that day. And no humidity. And, pardon? No humidity. <laughs> yeah, no humidity. Oh, we'll survive. It's only two hours. Um, if there's any questions of clerk's office, I'd be more than happy to answer. Questions of city clerk? Thanks, Beck. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, city Treasurer's report. Our Treasurer, Glenn Conklin. Good evening, Glenn. Well, good evening, Mayor and Council. <clears throat> Try that again. Good evening, Mayor and Council. I would like to report our regular and overtime payroll from 528-2018 to 610-2018 in the amount of $209,634.44. It's not an action item, but I do seek approval on our list of bills. Our total for the same period is 297000 $153.17. So moved as presented. Second. Motion by Alderwoman Overland, seconded by Alderwoman Gazal for the list of bills, questions, or comments. Roll call. Marco Cole de Petro? Yes. Nate Albert? Yes. Tom Inman? Yes. Scott Dyke? Yes. John Brache? Yes. Barbara Scalera? Yes. Claudia Gazal? Yes. Tina Oberlin? Yes. Motion carries. I thank you all. If there's any questions, I'd do my best to answer them. Questions of the Treasurer? Thanks, Glenn. Thank you. Good evening. Unfinished business. We have nothing. Anybody? New business? Nothing on the agenda? Anyone? Committee liaison reports. Yes. I would like to um, thank everyone who participated at the annual 76th annual Ladies ceremony last weekend. It was uh, quite a crazy day. We were rained back and forth, but once the ceremony started, it did stop. So we had a nice break to actually have the service and. I had so many people come up and tell me they were so glad we kept it there because it meant so much more. So I'm glad we did that, um, even though we got wet for a few minutes. But they all had their little umbrellas out there. It was a sea of umbrellas. But I want to thank all of you that attended and all, all of my bakers. Um, we had Lori and Vicki from the clerk's office that baked, and I think Glenn and, and uh, Nate brought something, and Jeannie Jurisic, and um, of course I made my tarts again that they just love and they were just thrilled it was it was a, it was a wonderful day and I want to thank Brian Simplinski and Danny Price from Public Works for their efforts once again they know exactly what needs to be done and they do it so it's just wonderful so please give them my appreciation and uh, once again the landscaper the, that gentleman did such a wonderful job on everything at Green Gold Landscaping I so appreciate it it looks so wonderful I'm glad everybody got to see it um, and I want to give another shout out to Lynn Seaford and the people at St. Anne's Church who did volunteer to let us use that in case we had a real big rain. And that's, that was very kind and generous of them, so I want to thank them for that as well. Um, Nate, you want to tell them about the picnic? You want to remind about the picnic? Uh, yeah, this, uh, this year's picnic is on Sunday, August 5th from noon to 10 p.m. at St. Joe's Park. You know, the weatherman is already saying it's supposed to be beautiful that day, so mark it on your calendar. and come out and have some fun anybody else committee liaison reports city council comments positive city council comments anything you'd like to share with your residents anybody you'd like to go first this evening Alderman Oberlin Ward 3 well I do want to thank Alderman Albert I want to thank you for all your help since you came on this committee you've been so very helpful to me and and You've thought of things I hadn't thought of, like the porta potties at Ladice, and I, I just really appreciate everything you do, Nate, and thank you for all that. Um, it means a lot to me that you're so, you know, coming up with things. And thank you, Tina. I'm always thinking about porta potties. I guess <laughs> <laughs> it's just Nate. <laughs> well, anyhow, thank you for all your efforts, Nate. Thank you very much. Alderman Cola Di Pietro. Uh, I just want to thank Tina for her continued. Uh, support and putting on the Ladis uh, Memorial Celebration. It was my first year there and uh, was very touching. Alderman Albert? 
Yeah, I mean, I agree with Marco. I, I can remember going to the Ladis ceremony, and there was always a big group of people uh, there from the Czech Republic. And that, that group continues every year, no matter what the weather is like, obviously. But it's nice to see some of the people that you know, you've never seen before, people that are new to the community that, that were maybe unaware of the whole Ladis story. Um, even with the, uh, the weather we had, it was, it was just impressive to see the crowd. So thanks to uh, uh, the committee, Tina and, and Vicki, um, and the uh, state reps that were there, Natalie Manley and, and John Connor. It was nice to have their presence as well. So thank you. Alderman Emmon. Uh, yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, first of all, I apologize for not making the piece. I didn't make it this week. At the ceremony, it, it's always a great day, and I'm sorry I missed it. I would, however, like to give a, a special word of congratulations to my bride. Um, this weekend, we had our 50th wedding anniversary. Uh, I give her credit for everything. Uh, when I got out of the service, I went back to teach and I was going to school at night. I was coaching every sport. Uh, I was going to clinics, uh, traveling on away games. Uh, one day I came home and the kids were in their teens. Um, and she did a great job with raising a couple of kids and I give her all the credit in the world for that. And now, uh, <clears throat> this weekend was very special. Thank you. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations. Well, Marsha, too. Award to Alderwoman Gazelle. Congratulations, Tom. Thank you. Also, I want to announce um, that uh, July 31st, uh, we'll be hosting with the police department uh, part of the community outreach. We'll be doing the Let's Meet at the Park. So all the women, Scalier and myself, and a few policemen will be at the park hosting some events, giving some goodies, and trying to reach out to the community and the kids. So just a reminder, this is the park of Borio on July 31st at 6 o'clock. Other women, Scalier. I just wanted to add to that that we look forward to seeing the residents at this event on the 31st. <laughs> Um, both Claudia and myself feel that this is a very important thing for both the residents and the police department, especially too for the kids. They can uh, meet the policemen and just know if there's a danger, they know who they can go to and a little more detail on that. So I think it's going to be a great event. So um, if you're in the area, make sure you stop by. And then also I just wanted to tell everybody be safe in this warm weather and if you have an elderly neighbor, relative, um, please check on them and make sure they're safe. Or one alderman for Shay. Uh, I'd like to tell everyone, please be careful. They're in the summer months now, the kids are all running wild and be very careful. They have a nice summer, enjoyable summer. Alderman Dyke. Uh, nothing to add to anything tonight. Okay. Public comment. If anyone would like to address city council, you need to come to the podium, state your name for the record. Your address is optional. Let the record show that no one has approached the podium. Is there a need for an executive session, Heather? No, there's not. Motion to adjourn, Mayor. Second. Wow. Motion by Alderman Dyke, seconded by Alderman Vershay for an adjournment. Roll call, please. Robert Scalaire. Yes. Claudia Gazal. Yes. Tina Oberlin. Yes. Margo Coldy Pietro. Yes. Nate Albert. Yes. Tom Inman. Yes. John Vershay. Yes. Scott Dyke. Yes. Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned at 7.28 p.m. Thank you and good evening.